welcome back guys so this is uh, question number four and here what we have to do we are asked to write the output expression for each of the circuit as it appears in figure 5.56 okay so this is the figure 5.56 we can see that it consists of many parts which are a b c d uh, e and f okay but today we are going to solve just part a and b here okay uh, and then change each circuit to an equivalent and or configuration how to change the configurations which are already given to their and or configuration we will see it later on so let us have these part a so in part a we have four inputs which are a b c and d okay so these are basically the uh, four inputs which uh, we have so here the inputs which are given to each of the part let me give them certain colors so to the first uh, part or the first gate is given this green color okay to the second one let me give this uh, yellow color to it okay and to the third one let me give some other color so let me give it uh, this light blue okay so the output here we will have it in the form of this light blue okay so let me write the outputs so the outputs here are okay this is a b so a b is when given or applied to this circuit okay we can see that these two are inputs are applied here and out at the output of it we will get this and the output of it we will get a plus b okay similarly uh, for the second circuit what will be the output the output here will be let me use uh, this yellow color which i used or uh, to denote it so these are the two, two inputs which are cd cd are applied here and at the output we will get c plus d okay so these are basically the two inputs which are applied to this and gate now so at the input of these and gates we have two inputs which are here this is a plus b and this is c plus d so uh, the functionality of this and gate is that these two will be multiplied together and we will get what let me see that so at the output of it we will get here a plus b multiplied by c plus d okay so that is what that is the answer of this question which we have seen so this is basically the answer of my question which is part a okay so this is the output of it similarly after it we have what we have this uh, part b here and uh, let me use it here so we have four inputs again one a b c and d okay so these are the four inputs so in order to denote denote different uh, outputs of the gates let me write or give each gate some color so let me again give uh, this gate this light blue okay this is the first and gate the second gate we have here is let me give it uh, this yellow color okay this is the yellow color the third gate here is let me give it this light green okay and the output of it which is here this or gate let me give it which color uh, so let me give it this orange color okay so the orange color this is the output so uh, when a b is applied here let me write it when a b is applied here we can see that this is what which gate is this this is the nand gate so at the output of it we will get a b whole complement okay so that is the output of this nand gate uh, similarly this is now applied here and with it this signal this is c this is also applied here and the at the output of it this is another and gate uh, nand gate sorry because of this bubble here so at the output of it what i will get so let me draw it again here and this is with this light green so a b whole complement multiplied by c and d whole complement okay so at the output of it we will get this signal and here we can see that here we have two inputs one is let me use 
the yellow color so one is this d the other one is this c so at the output of it i will get c d whole complement okay so this signal is applied here this green is also applied here and the output of it as i am denoting it with this orange color so at the output of it what i will get i will get a b complement c and whole complement okay and plus with it is c d whole complement okay so what is this that is the solution of this question which i have solved here okay so uh, the second question is how to convert them to each end or configuration how to do it so we can do it by using the de morgan's law here okay so by applying de morgan's law here we can very easily convert it to the feasible form which will be in the form of end or configuration okay so uh, that is the solution we have seen for part a and part b and uh, i hope you have understood all the underlying steps which had to carry on in order to uh, fulfill the statement which has been given in the form of this statement so the same procedure will also be followed for part c d part e f as well so i think it's enough for today in if you guide if you guys got any question you can ask me in the comment box so i hope it's enough for today so thank you so much and i will see you soon